Yaho, 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 and welcome back to my channel, YouTube. I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about why I'm not choosing to build my career in my 20s. Everyone's always saying that life, you know, is so, is so short, but I don't think life is short at all. I think life is actually pretty long. And I think life is a little too long to not chase after your dreams. I think life is a little too long to not try to get your goals, try to get what you want. That's why from my 20, from year 20 to year 30, I'm not worrying about developing this career. I'm working jobs, I'm getting experience, but I'm not worrying about the career. This is something that my mom is always reminding me of. This, when are you gonna start focusing on your career, man? And I'm like, well, I'll focus on it when the time comes. I'm not ready to settle and I don't wanna force myself into settling because you know, if you wanna focus on a career, you have to settle down and you have to get to work on focusing. That means you can't move around as much. And I, I really value mobility in these, in these 10 years because I wanna go see things with my own eyes. I wanna do things with my own hands. I wanna stream, I wanna write, I wanna use my time creatively. And I know that life is actually not as short as people say it is. Life is usually only short when you think about the wasted time that you've accumulated in it. I think that, you know, we're not living in the medieval era, era where like people live only to the age of 30. We're living in the 21st century where people are living to 100 plus. 100 years is kind of a long amount of time and Let's put it into perspective, right? So say that um, I would start focusing on my career at 20 as opposed to 30, right? I think that would be 20 to 65, which is retirement age, is 45 years, right? 45 years is a long time. Let's say I wait until I'm 30 to start developing my career, right? That's 35 years. 35 years is still a long amount of time, but you see, it's only a 10 year difference. The thing is that when you're 20 to 30, that's your best time to take risks. That's your best time to try new things. That's your best time to try to figure out what you want in your life. And the reason being is because you have a low amount of responsibility um, coupled with high amounts of free time and autonomy. So you get to make decisions for yourself because you're becoming a blooming adult. And adults, they have to learn how to take care of themselves, but adults also have a lot more control over what they're able to do. And I think that we might all have an idea in college. We might all have an idea when we're younger, but usually those ideas are just shards to a greater plan. And in order to make that greater plan, you have to get many shards and put them together. And it's just not realistic to expect to be able to do it in four years. It didn't take me four years to figure out what I wanted to do. I'd say at least seven years and I was trying like every single day to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. Imagine if you weren't trying, imagine how long it would take. It might take 35 or 45 years. It might be a little too late because you're not gonna have the response, you're gonna have too many responsibilities, you're not gonna have the autonomy and you're not gonna have the, re you're not gonna have the free time to be able to create the life you want. So that's what I think is so important by choosing to wait until I'm 30 to start developing my career because I understand that life is long. So don't give into the YOLO state of mind where everyone's telling you life is short because life is actually not that short. It's only short to people that think that they've wasted a lot of time and they haven't been able to do what they wanna do. But you have the opportunity to plan right now in quarantine. You have the opportunity to start working on yourself. You have the opportunity to do the things that you didn't have the time or energy or, or autonomy to do before we were inside our houses. This, I think, is really, really important. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and likes. Really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 sometime this year, hopefully this year. <laughs> Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with janky energy and positivity. But most importantly, do me the favor. Share this video with your friends. You know, I think that the positivity has to be spread to as many people as possible. And we can really lift someone up. So, someone out there, if, even if the message is not for us, someone out there could use this message today. And you could be that connector. 
anyway youtube i'll see you in the next one i'll see you in the next video bye bye